This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Osi Godwin, and I've got Nimi Dekombi with me and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. Wagwan. Hey guys. Wagwan. How you doing? What is Wagwan? It's Patwa for what's going on. What is Patwa? Patwa is like um, what, um, what the Jamaicans speak. Mm. Yeah, Patwa. I see. So you are resonating Rastafarian energy. And uh, maybe. Oh, uh, no. You should be the one um, resonating to Rastafarian exactly, energy. Exactly, because I've got the trend. Okay, moving on real quick. Nigerian singer Orexi is demanded 100 million naira from ride hailing app Boat, formerly known as Tactify, after a road accident which damaged his jaw a month ago. According to the singer, a, on the morning of December 6, 2019, he was heading to the airport to meet up with a flight to Delta State for a performance. So he took a ride on boat at about 5.30 a.m. in the morning. But... Um, the journey was cut short due to the recklessness of the boat driver partner. The singer, through his lawyers, has now written a letter to demand a letter of demand to Boat, requesting a sum of 100 million naira as damages, stating that Boat owes clients the assurance to recruit, engage, and refer competent drivers with cars in good condition. The letter went on to say that the accident has caused Orexi unnecessary hardship, loss of income, medical bills, and more importantly, debt care arising from the accident. Yeah. Hmm. I'm actually glad that Orezi is suing Taxify because mm. this is not, this is like if this was a one-time occurrence, mm. then I would say that, okay, it's not something that is, you know, like common with the Taxify brand. But when you go online, you boat. see uh, the boats. When you go online, you see different people recounting their experiences with boat drivers, always complaining about one or two things about their drivers. I think that was why they even started the ride share there was one this thing like this that they did that when you get a ride you can share it with people because there was it was like a trend of some of these drivers being um, shady and and um, very I think very erratic is the word yeah and and, and and I don't know why Taxify is not doing anything boat. to sorry boat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why Volt is not doing anything to probably train this, their drivers to prevent this kind of erratic behavior from them. Because how can... And I think the reason why this case is being this publicized is because it is Orezi, and Orezi yeah. is a public figure. There are so many people that you're not even hearing their stories that have had this kind of incident with Bolt drivers. So I hope that Bolt will be able to use this opportunity. I'm glad I'm suing them. Maybe this would be a call to action for them to start looking into their drivers and put, you know, like they should put... Um, points in measures. place, measures in okay. place to ensure that this kind of thing doesn't happen again. I would like to hear a first angle on this, but that's considering your background. Do you yes. think he has a case? Of course, yeah, negligence. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, so he, he can prove negligence because um, they said he was sleeping and then he woke up to a bang, right? Mm -hmm. So um, if we can prove negligence, obviously he has a case. And um, I like the fact that people are holding people accountable according yeah. to the law these mm -hmm. days because mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have gotten away with recklessness, negligence, and all yeah. of that, danger to lives and property and all of that. And um, these days we're seeing the law coming into play. But um, I hope this will not be another case of we're settling out of court. We yeah, for now, what he, well, I think this is just a letter to them to yeah, pay that. So responded. he's expecting a settling out of court. Mm. It is when they don't respond in seven days that yeah, this will yeah. head to the court. So. Okay, so let's hope they respond and they pay the money because... Um, we also raised it after the accident. He had to get stitches yeah. and all of that. He missed he his flight. Bad. Obviously, he mm -hmm. was probably going for mm -hmm. a show. Mm -hmm. Now, he missed the money for that show. Maybe he even had to refund. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He probably even had to refund. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because it's already been this, paid. What so. he's doing right now is actually very much needed. And I hope that both would wake up and start doing something about their and Yes, I really do not take um, this, uh, what's it called? taxi apps, right, um, mm -hmm. their stuff. I really do not take a lot, but when I do, like when I'm going long distance and yeah. I decide that, okay, I'm not driving and I decide. You see some of them, you know, jamming and they are dancing while yes. they are driving you it's with like one hand and nothing, they are but then no they are, code Maybe code because codes. they look at you and they feel like, okay, this is a young person, mm -hmm. maybe I should give him that cool vibe. <laughs> no, you don't have to be cool when you're driving me. Just get me to where I'm going safely and don't exactly. speak to me. A lot of them speak a lot. They talk too, too much. much. Do you understand? They talk too much. <laughs> but I, I 
I, I've noticed before, I used to be laid back on telling, being reserved on saying, yeah. oh, can you just stop talking? But sometimes, even if I'm not reading anything, I just pick up, I just whip out my phone and I'm like, can you just keep quiet? I need to read something. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, like, it's I so told bad you. that there was this particular ride that I was on. The guy was even very rude from the beginning of the trip, so I was already even like not interested. Then we now started the trip and then he was using his phone. He wasn't checking his phone for like Google Maps. He was chatting while wow. driving. I had to tell him that it's not my life that you're going to put Actress. in danger. Yeah. Do you understand? So I'm like, do they have any code of conduct? Do they have any expectations from their drivers? I mean, what measures are they putting in place to ensure that their drivers don't continue doing this kind of things? Like the going I remember the complaints nice. are getting much. If Too I add much. mine, we won't Come leave on. here, but we have to I move remember to this the night next story, I went actually. To the Oh, we have to Yeah, we time. do. Social commentator and politician Reno Mokri has an advice for students, and he goes thus. Exams are a test of memory, not a test of intelligence. Read to pass your exam, but don't think you are unintelligent because you fail. Don't think you are better than those who fail. You might actually end up working for a classmate who failed. End of quotes. Yeah, as a recent graduate, mm, did you I fail? To <laughs> Let me no, understand. I did not fail. But I, I had friends who did. Okay. And I know that these people are some of the most intelligent people that I've ever met. When it comes to like business ethics, when it comes to like other things, they were very, very intelligent. But due to like some unforeseen circumstances, because sometimes when you even feel in school, it's not really it doesn't really have a lot to do with your own intelligence or your smartness or some there are some other factors. There are some Nigerian lecturers that just want to fail you. Mm -hmm. And then you you see the effect that failing has on this student. You see the effect. I mean, when we look at last year, we had high profile cases of students who committed suicide. Even in, while I was still in school, there was a girl that committed suicide because she got an E in a course. So I think that, I don't agree with Reno or Mokri most of the time on some of the things he says, but on this note, I would agree with him that students need to realize that if you fail an exam, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't define you. And I also would say that parents should stop putting pressures on their children, telling them, oh, if you don't, if you, what is your plan? Because I saw one this afternoon, he was saying, what is your plan? You must get a first class, you must get a this. Some of these things are beyond the power of the students. There's little that we can do to determine what we we'll graduate with. There's little we can do to, de to, to determine our grade. I think people need to re reorientate themselves to realize that there is a lot more to intelligence than just what you get in school, what your grade is, or you passing exams. Well, um, I agree to some extent, but when you say that when you read to pass your exam, it's okay. No, because um, if you check the definition of knowledge, it is the acquisition of skills and information. While knowledge is the I mean, while intelligence is the application of knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. So don't say um, it's okay for you to read and pass because it is not just a test of your memory. It's the test of why have I been paying for my child's school fees. If that's the case, then anybody can whip out a textbook and just cram and just... Now, you're acquiring... Um, but that was already known. You're say getting... That exams are just a test of memory. Not that's what I'm test saying, test. that it is, not just, it is not just a test of memory because okay. I can read something and remember it and forget it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. do I have the knowledge? Do I have the skills? Do I have what I went to the four walls of a school for? Yeah. Now that is intelligence. Do you understand? That's the education. That's yeah. the which now. I like that you just which mentioned Nigerian education system because I'm looking at it beyond what Reno is saying or what mm -hmm. he's not saying, but the system itself. Yeah. We need to begin to look at individuals and their capacity and yes. place them where they are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. There are people who are supposed to do the white collar job and mm -hmm. then read and pass the exam first yes. class. And there are people that are not just interested in these Based things like or Maybe the interested is not the word, but it's not their strong. They, it's not their strength. Vocational you know, thing. vocational skills. You train. Mm -hmm. We need to go back to the drawing board and look at the reason our polytechnics and our technical colleges mm. were formed in the first place. Because not everybody really and needs also to go take to away the stigma that we place on these very vital skills that people are rendering. Mm -hmm. So you have a carpenter or you have a plumber. 
that is making thousands of naira. He cannot even come out to tell you he's a plumber because yeah. he feels like he will lose. And he's probably his making more money than, 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 than you than that are going to buy the white you, collar. You know, so I feel like we all need to go back to the drawing board yeah. and I saw something somewhere that said there are no menial jobs, they're just menial mindsets. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. It's it's about the mindsets. We've, mm -hmm. we've seen cases of Uber drivers running away from their friends because they're riding yeah, yeah, the Uber and okay. all of that. But at the end of the day, I understand where it's saying that, look, don't pull anybody down for their failure because yes. people fail to try again and mm -hmm. they can get better. Yeah. But saying that exams are a test of memory, no, sir, that is absolutely wrong. Exams are a test of your intelligence, which really? is... I don't. Yeah. I would not agree. With it's you a, it's a, it's not just would, a test of your memory. Because number one, I just graduated recently, and I would say again, if you read to pass, do you know the difference between you and somebody who is intelligent, who actually can practicalize? the what knowledge is, they have acquired. No, that is what I just explained to you. It is the <clears throat> application mm -hmm. of knowledge. While well, knowledge is the acquisition of skills. Now, do you know that there are people who don't necessarily and need information. to go through the Nigerian educational system, but they have that intelligence that you're talking about? And, uh, they're not getting okay, it. Okay, if I come into this, we'll still stay here again. <laughs> so, it's time for a quick break. Mm. But when we return, controversial relationship blogger Joro Ulumofe has some relationship advice for single ladies. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Baba? Now? Oh, <laughs> Ali. And Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> recruiting backup boyfriend and this is coming from relationship blogger Jero Olumofe. Describing this as contingency boyfriend, he says this will help reduce the level of depression among ladies who just got out of relationships. He went on to explain that a contingency boyfriend is a guy who fits all your criteria of a husband material but is your platonic friend, meaning there is no sex involved. You talk to him often, you hang out with him and involve him in your daily activities and he's aware of your boyfriend. He says most men have contingency girlfriends and this is why they get married three months after a breakup. Mm. Jero, if I, Jero, Jero. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. Jero. Do you agree is this what is going on? Should we yeah, I, I, I totally no. do not agree with this because um Yes, there's been a lot of outbreak. A lot of women have put their heart and soul into mm. relationships that didn't work out. Mm. And but is, should that should we now say that everybody should have a backup? I understand where it's coming from that you should have a friend so that mm. after three months you two you can get married. Like, like how does that even make any sense? Like you know there are there are people that you know they like you. Mm. But you don't like them like so that. How, how is he going so to change when so you I should break up? I should them know them about now. your boyfriend. I like you. Then when no, no, no. you break up, no, 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 there are actually like, people no in that. The moment I get situation. what I want, I'm dumping you too. What are you getting? What are you getting? They say you will not get anything. No, no. I'm talking about when friendship. you get your heart broken mm -hmm. and then you come to me mm -hmm. and you feel like, okay, this is my husband material part two. No, just no, in case but do you know men that in that situation actually loves these ladies more? Like, no matter what you do. Do. They are usually always there to yeah, say that. The we kind are of going guys that actually yeah. you to think yeah. that know that you have a boyfriend but yeah, still love you. They don't, they don't leave actually. Yeah, so well, don't I don't leave. know, but I don't think I want to be any girl's mumu man. That's just it. It's not mumu no, man, it's mumu contingency man. boyfriend. No, it's still, it's, 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 that's the English word for mumu man. The Me, second, I'm just using the, the second in line. Oh my goodness. Like Oshiba Jo. Exactly, like VP. Is it not still mumu man? Like Bestie. I'm not saying VP. Hey, Joe, <laughs> no be hate speech, Joe. I'm not saying he's a woman, man, no. Uh -huh. I'm just saying that anybody who is going to be next in, in line, line mm. to the throne, 
Uh -huh. The woman. Come on. Do you no. understand? Although, Any woman that sees but you. But do you know this um, article from him is going to make some people feel like, okay, am I really, am I your woman yeah, in this situation? Yes. He's going to they will start question a lot their of, place. You know, they will even question a lot of marriages because we've seen a lot of yeah, men so mm -hmm. many marriages that like got that. married to friends mm -hmm. after they got their heart broken by one yeah. other woman. So those ladies now will be sitting like, okay. So but I then I mean, my own question is even that. If you know that, okay, this person is like a wife material, or why didn't you just like start dating person? Do you understand? No, maybe you, maybe you met your boyfriend day? first. It's totally understandable, but I think this is a lot. Of, um, this is a wrong advice for anybody listening. Is so it I don't really know. wrong? I mean, I'm not because in a relationship. Something that happened. But well, I, I think I, I saw something on your post that, that a guy said that um, his girlfriend that he mistake that he was jokingly telling his girlfriend that he jokingly told his girlfriend that, that he was broke, broke. Mm -hmm. and then she sent him hundred k, oh. and then underneath somebody says your girlfriend single, <laughs> 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 like, and I'm like, okay. Okay, so I think right now we should start having backup plan just in case. Man, I think backup plan is important. It's very, I don't very know if you want it to be platonic depending or on how you want call to put him it. your side boyfriend or something. <laughs> let it be a personal decision. I think decision. it helps. So decide yeah. for yourself. Yeah, let it be. A, that's yeah. why I said let it be a personal decision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Know what works for you. Different because stuff. at the end of the day, that guy that you are saying platonic, hey, one day, one day. One day, one day, what happened? <laughs> Push me to catch <laughs> you on time. <laughs> okay, so. Before we go, this cute tissue box was made by the stitch layer and because in 2020 you cannot afford to be boring, spice up your space with beautiful accessories like this one. Visit at the stitch layer on Instagram to get yours today. Don't forget at the stitch layer on Instagram to get yours. This is really cute. I mean, it's just for your tissue. So you open it here and instead of having a normal nylon thing or is it paper, you just have something cute on your table. So sweet Switch, switch, switch. I don't need a tissue right now. <laughs> but switch it up and make sure you get yours at the Stitch Layer on Instagram. And that's exactly how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Arrow TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you is always to go to my awesome co-anchors, Nimi Dekombi and Ife Oluwa Oshankaye, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching, and I'll definitely see you later. Thank you.